Smash that like button if you woke up this morning. I appreciate you guys hit that subscribe button. Sm sm smash that like button. 50 Cent. Clowning Floyd Mayweather once again. Then we got Nicki Minaj, Megatron. And she possibly could be having trouble with her boyfriend, but you know, I think people are just reading into it, but that's one of the headlines I saw, so I figured I'd touch on it. And then we got Jazzo, who started with Jay-Z, you know, put Jay-Z on his first everything. Uh, actually getting signed to Rock Nation. It's going full circle. That's amazing. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys so much. And I hope you guys are having a positive, great day, uh, as you should be. Um, yes, the, the news is slow, and gee, I know you're sick of seeing me saying that, but it's true. But we will power through it, okay? Let's get right into it. So we got, <laughs> this is funny. I, I burst out laughing when I saw this this morning. So Floyd Mayweather bought the biggest Chanel purse. <laughs> of course, 50 Cent was going to come for that. A lot of people thought he was also coming for 50 Cent just because 50 Cent was making fun of Chanel purses a few weeks ago, like pretending to draw the C's on a bag. And uh, so, you know, Floyd Mayweather took the line from Little Baby and Gunna's track, uh, Drip Too Hard. He said, uh, biggest Chanel bag you can have it and uh, then uh, 50 Cent said you can uh, you can have the biggest Chanel in the store if you want it I don't think little baby was talking about this stupid thing you bought champ get out of here legendary stupid stuff Bow Wow reacted and laughed as you can see I thought that was funny then Floyd Mayweather got you know I guess they're having celebrity basketball games he got pushed down and he said, what the hell champ, you all right? Get the strap. Man, he tried to get you. Uh, now you've got an ace bandage on your ankle. <laughs> Cause uh, Floyd Mayweather got pushed down in the in the basketball game. I mean, you know, 50 Cent always got, you don't want to go toe to toe with 50 Cent cause he's always got the funny stuff. And I know some of you are like, you're on 50's payroll. Funny's funny, entertaining is entertaining. I'm sorry, man. If, you, if, if somebody else entertains me, I'll report on that too. Um, then we got Nicki Minaj Megatron. Um, you know, I hate to report on ne negative stuff because I do want Nicki Minaj to win. Uh, this record wasn't it. I, I said that when it first came out. Um, Nicki Minaj is capable of making hit records, obviously, okay? This one just wasn't it. You know, she felt it was it. She threw it out there. It didn't do so well. It's okay. You do the next one, you know, but, uh, it debuted at 20 on the charts, and then a week later, 92 spot. But it's also not being pushed. Well, she did a video and everything, but it's not being... I don't feel like it's being pushed in my face like some other records. Um, but, you know, she's got more competition out here. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just saying this might not be it. And that's okay. <laughs> you know, like sometimes... You throw a record out, it doesn't work. Uh, Cardi B threw money out. That that record didn't take off. And she was hotter than ever, you know? She just dropped her album. Um, and then a lot of people are speculating that her and her boyfriend are having trouble because the barbs and him aren't getting along. <laughs> and Baby, you wanna say hi to the barbs? They think you hate them. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it was so extra. All right, so Money Mash, Frenchie. He said it's about time you get off that thing. <laughs> Damn, okay. Well, that's not gonna go over too well, but anyways, uh, hopefully everything's okay with them. Then we got Jazzo, legendary Jazzo, getting signed to Jay-Z. They had their problems in the past, but you know, Jay-Z's always showed love to Jazzo. Jazzo was on before Jay-Z, took him uh, overseas, put him on his first record, and you know, that was out in a major way. Then when Jay-Z blew up, I think he put him, what was it, Blueprint 2 he put him on? I can't remember which one, but he was on, he was on uh, Money Cash. He was on that song, I think. I can't remember, man, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was that song. But Jazzo was on a few Jay-Z records. Then they kind of had a little bit of differences after that. But now it's good to see they're back together. They've been taking pictures together the past couple years. And, you know, it's good to see things come 360. Um, it's always good, man. Um, anyways, guys, that's all I got for you right now. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I hope you guys are having a great day, a positive day. Smash that like button for positive vibes. Jordan Tower.
What do you feel your secret to success was? Like, or what do you feel helped you? Faith, determination, and preparation, practice. Just like a basketball player, I actually died through the mind. I ain't look up on it. I was talented, but I also went with the talent I practiced. I was humble, like I still am. I was diligent, I was persistent. You know what I'm saying? I'm a workhorse. I deserve everything that come to me, <clears throat> bad and good. That's why I came to me. I believe in that. I believe I can handle anything that, that he put in front of me. I met um, my baby. When I was 11, May 13, 1993, Friday the 13th. Never forget. I spit for baby, and you know, they gave me a card, and I ain't never stopped calling the number on that motherfucker. It was two numbers on there. It was 522-3660 and 596-5109. The 3660 was the office number. The 5109 was baby's beeper number. Niggas, we knew niggas would be in that office from at least 8, 9 that morning to about 8, 9 that night. And after that, you got a beeper. That's how I went for baby and slim. You have to want it. You have to be consistent. You have to get up every morning and be persistent and diligent with it and believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. You have to be consistent at anything you do and practice at it. You might have a God-given talent, but you still have to fine-tune your skills. Be consistent with that daily, day in and day out, until what you're doing is like breathing. It's a natural reflex. Success didn't just fall in Gucci Man's lap. It just didn't fall in Lil Wayne's lap. Lil Wayne had to beep that number, harass baby, harass Slim, day in and day out, until they would take his call and give him a chance and let him rap for them. And then eventually, they gave him a shot and gave him an album, and they gave him another album, until he was holding the whole company up. He kept cash money going. Look at Gucci Man, he gets up every morning, early, wakes up, practices his skills, loves what he does, has faith in himself. When everybody tells him he sucks, he keeps going and keeps going and perseveres through the hate. And then he makes it to where he is now. It takes consistency. You know what I didn't have or don't got, I go get. Never been lazy, never been right, that I always been up early, never slept. But still to the day, I wake up eight, nine o'clock, ready to go to work. Cause that's just how I am. Even if it ain't no work to do, I make something to be done. Cause you just can't be lazy. Never been on it. I did this myself. Even when you don't feel like working, even when you don't feel like practicing, you force yourself because you don't want to set yourself in reverse. You want to take steps forward, not steps backward. So you get up and you work and you don't be lazy. You have to outwork the other person. There's another person across the country, across the world, that wants your spot. They're going to outwork you and you cannot let them. Mm. I go hard in the paint with this rap shit. Real hard. I take it real seriously. I take every single thing I do, every word, every letter, every sentence, every phrase, every quote, every chorus, every verse, every bridge, every intro, every outro. Personal. Bouncing around. You feel me? It's all over my body. So I said, sign yourself, the flower, CEO. You can read me. Everything about me is about that music game. I'm an artist. I love doing music. I'm passionate about it. Cause my life that I do outside of music is so much of like a story and uh, a testimony. Everybody need to hear it. Cause there ain't nobody living the life I live. I ain't even bragging on it, you know what I'm saying? It's just a true statement. Cause I just hit the booth and just express myself. They're jumping on it because they know it's credible. You have to live and you have to breathe what you do. And you have to be honest with yourself and be honest with your customers. Because if you're not honest with them, they'll see right through you and then you won't be authentic anymore. And they won't want you. They won't want what you're offering. So be who you are. 
and live it. But the reality of my day is, you know, waking up, seeing the sun, getting money till I die. And um, I really don't see nothing else. And nothing else have ever been important to me since way back when. And because of that, because of my hustle, because of my grind, I'm successful. I'm wealthy. And I'm confident. And I ain't, I ain't had the best deals, daddy. You dig? But a nigga smart and a nigga grind. If you know how to do that shit right there, and you ain't got no other choice, you can't help, you can't even control getting money if you're grinding. With consistency and hard work, eventually comes success. With success comes confidence. And with confidence comes happiness. Be consistent at whatever you're doing. Live it, breathe it, believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. That belief in yourself should get you up in the morning, should make you grind. You know you're gonna be successful if you stay consistent. No lazy days, no days off. It's not always gonna be easy. You're gonna to have to make sacrifices, but with those sacrifices will come a lot more happiness and a lot more freedom. You might not be watching the games on Sunday nights, you might not be able to go to certain dinners with your friends. You might have to stay home, work on your passion, work on what you believe in. But it will all pay off if you stay consistent with it. What do you foresee for the future? Can't tell the future, but what I hope to see is a uh, successful route career, successful move career, so, uh, direct the movie, direct my own videos. I'm a publisher company doing good. So I said, boy, it's doing good. My brother's staying out of trouble, just being, you know what I mean? Sure. Family ain't good, my mama living, my little brother living good growing up. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but the family, dawg.